Welcome to In-Depth Outdoors, bringing you fishing's hottest bites with James Holt and the IDO Fishing Team. All right. Oh, yeah. That's big fish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that is a trophy right there. Oh, yeah. Check it out. That's a heavy fish. In-Depth Outdoors. Brought to you by Lake Master. Leading in accuracy, following with success. Beckman Nets, the net of a lifetime. Be fish and tackle. Jigs and soft plastics for the serious walleye angler. And Drift Control, the pro angler's choice. Even with all the advancements in freshwater fishing and all the emphasis on technology, you'd be hard pressed to find an angler that wouldn't immediately recognize a lure in my hand as a lead head jig. Nearly all anglers get their start fishing this type of lure. And for one reason, it's deadly effective and it's very easy to master. Today I'm fishing with Jason Halfen, and on today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors, we're gonna show you how to break all those rules that you've learned over the years and how to fish a jig correctly. We're gonna be fishing a lot of line, we're going to get the jigs out away from the boat, and we're going to be using very light jig heads to target midsummer walleyes in very shallow water. And when walleyes are in current, there is no better way to target those fish than to drag a lightweight jig head. Got him. Oh boy. Nice fish, James. Right now, all this fish is doing is just creeping along the bottom, trying to keep its nose right tight to those rocks. Oh, the anticipation. I'm going to, this fish is going to go outside, I'm pretty sure. Ah, this is great. You know, as much as this river gets huge press during the cold winter months, these summer fish are so strong. Well, I like everything about this fish so far. You know me too, Jay. When the water's so turbid like this, you don't get to see the fish until it's about six inches below the surface. You know, in a clear, clear water lake or whatever, you can see it's a walleye 10 feet down. And right here, everything's a surprise until that last second. Come on, baby. Oh, is that a big walleye? Oh, oh. a little more. Yes, yeah. the long handle, the long <laughs> handle, man. Good call. Oh yeah, we're on the spot now, man. Another fish that you just could not get at any other presentation. You try to pull a crankbait through here, you're throwing $5 bills off the bow of the boat. There's just so much to snag up on. And that is just a beautiful summer walleye. That one's gonna push uh, 26 or better, buddy. I think you're right. Very strong fish, hooked right in the corner of the mouth. And there's that real thin profile jig with that weed guard. It's just enough to shield the hook point and keep that hook out of the wood, out of the, out of the rock and give these fish a chance to find that bait. Again, very warm water temperatures. You do not want these fish out of the water for very long. There you go, sweetheart. All right. Here we go. All right, Jay. That's a fish. Another solid fish here, James. Big enough to turn back up into him? Uh, no. No, I'm making some headway here. Okay. Solid fish though, coming in now. We are net ready. Nice oh, fish, yeah. nice fish. Dragon jigs, buddy. <laughs> Where's my jig? I know there's an orange jig in there somewhere. A nice solid uh, midsummer Mississippi River walleye that was ready to eat a dragon jig early in the morning. One of the great things about this presentation, the dragging jig presentation, is how efficient it is. As you can see, between Jason and I, we're able to keep four lines in the water and cover a pretty wide swath. And that puts a lot of baits in front of a lot of fish in a short amount of time. And in this shallow water, around this heavy cover, there really isn't a presentation that will do this job as well as dragging these small jigs. So fishing here in the back of the boat, I'm using a pair of rods that are shorter than the ones James is using in front. And that allows me to place my baits in parts of the water column that haven't been covered by the baits that he's using. 
Log on to IDOfishing.com, that's IDOfishing.com, and you'll be on your way to catching more and bigger fish. And you'll find fishing reports from all your favorite bodies of water. With monster fish photos, a friendly, helpful forum, and streaming video of every in-depth outdoors episode available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh, baby. Oh, Did you I, see him? I saw him, but I didn't get a good... Nice wall. Oh, yes! Good oh. fish, good fish. Now, you had one lower 20s earlier, just a little bit further downstream. Uh, this one's uh, 22, 23 inches long. Nice looking fish. This time of the year, they're not nearly as heavy as they'll be later in the fall, but this one's definitely eating good. Hello, I'm Dave Marquardt and I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. At Skeeter Boat Center, we have one of the largest selections of Skeeter fishing boats in the upper Midwest. And you can take a test drive in almost any Skeeter model we have. Plus, we have Yamaha 5-star service. Our staff offers the personalized service you deserve. Check us out online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. That one just grabbed it and held. And she's got some weight to it. Oh yeah. Well, you know, now the way it's fighting, could be a catfish. Man. There's that strung run. If it's a Wally, it's an upper 20. Oh, well, this is a situation you kind of hope for all day long. <laughs> now let it be a let me let it be a goldfish, golden fish, <laughs> not a goldfish. Oh yeah! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nice fish! Yeah, knuckles, Good boom, job, buddy. kick butt. <laughs> let me at it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Blue jig and a leech, man. That has been the hot combo today. Certainly heard that song before. Yep. Well, it's nice now that we're getting into a much nicer caliber fish. That's a mid 20 inch fish there. It fought, with the way it fought, I was thinking it was going to be upper 20s. But uh, 80 degree water temperature, and these fish have a lot of stamina. And that fish uh, came on that 1 16th ounce dragon jig. Uh, we had been getting most of our fish up very shallow on the top of that break along the riprap. This fish came down on the outside line in about 10 foot of water in some snaggy stuff. We're gonna let her go. When the water temps are this warm, you do not want to keep them out of the water very long. I don't think she's worse for the wear. You ready to go, sweetie? Tickle your belly? All right. That's a successful release. One of the general structure types where dragging jigs is really effective on the main channel is out here along these riprap shorelines. And what we've got is a group of fish that are real spread out along the current break that is set up right along the shoreline. If we had fish real localized, we'd want to cast those fish. But because they're very spread out, this is the most efficient method to use to target these fish. And as you can see, we've got a real nice current seam along the shoreline. We've got very slow water for about the first 20 feet off the shore. And then right here along the boat, what we've got is some faster water that's running right up against that slack water along the shore. So that's where they're holding in, right behind the rocks that have slid down off that shoreline. Come on. Got him on the outside. I had two at the same time. If this is a walleye, it's a good fish. All the rods are in and the Beckman awaits. Well. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yes. She's another really good one. Got it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sweet. You know, midsummer, 80 degree water temperatures. And we're pulling a half dozen fish. I mean, this isn't even one of our bigger fish here. <sighs> All right. There's a 23, 24 inch fish. 
even bigger. Just real long. Great fish, James. You bet. Turn it around so the camera can see. Blue jig and a leech. Why blue, a medium blue leech uh, and a jig combo in water this stained? I have no idea. It's just always been one of our very best color patterns here on the river. Midsummer. It's not a color pattern I'd fish in clear water, but in this really stained turbine conditions, that blue is really solid. Oh, that just makes my day. Oh, big fish, big fish. Just about ripped it out of my hand. You gotta make like it when they make it a no-doubter. I'm a hurry. Oh, there's, there's time. <laughs> there's time, excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit. Trolling motor off, and we got a good grip, so we should be all right there. That's a nice Looks size. Looks like edge. the right kind. Oh, yeah. There we, go. <laughs> there we go. Nice one. That's putting a little bit of distance between the head and the tail. Nice one. Well, that was on the crawler again, wasn't it? Blue jig, half a crawler. Got a nice, nice stocky fish. The two jigs we're using today, uh, they're both 1 16th ounce jigs. We have one regular jig and we have one weedless jig. And we use them in uh, two different scenarios. In any area where we don't have a lot of snags to deal with, obviously we're gonna go with the jig that doesn't have the weed guard. But in areas where we find a lot of these fish, uh, we've got a lot of snags to deal with. It could be flooded timber, um, clam beds, rocks, weeds. And the product we use in that situation has a very small plastic weed guard on it and it's called a dragon jig. Uh, the, the technique we're using is dragging jigs, so the, the name is very easy to remember. And it has a very narrow profile that keeps that jig moving through the, the contents on the bottom without getting hung up. Get him, get him, get him. Yes! Oh, it's a little bit better fish, if it's the right kind. You need that net, you let me know. Yep. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. In fact, the drag on your reel is just fine. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, nice one. Nice and healthy. Hello, I'm Dave Markwart, and I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. At Skeeter Boat Center, we have one of the largest selections of Skeeter fishing boats in the upper Midwest. And you can take a test drive in almost any Skeeter model we have. Plus, we have Yamaha 5-star service. Our staff offers the personalized service you deserve. Check us out online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. Double. Jason, run! Take my left, 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 left. I think he's still there. Yep. Boy, you don't get that to happen every day. I didn't know what to do. It was like, boom, 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 boom. I've got one on each one. What do I do? <laughs> Mine feels good. How about yours? Uh, this is coming in pretty easy. Is it? A little walleye. You have to understand that I wasn't going to give you the heavier fish, right? <laughs> I'm going to say it's a low 20 inch walleye. Okay. That's cool, you don't get to do that every day. Usually what happens is you end up losing at least one of them. Ready. There he is, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> Two at once. Beautiful double. Boy, did that fish inhale it. He made it easy on me. Sometimes when they're just pecking at it, it's really hard to land both those fish, but that one really gulped her down. Blue jig and a leech, buddy. Tomorrow it'll be an, uh, an orange jig and a crawler, but today there's no doubt about what they want. Particularly most of the bigger fish. I mean, this isn't a, one of our better fish by any means, but all of our big ones have sure wanted that blue jig. The one on the right hand uh, is, uh, is no lunker by any means, but it's a pretty unique situation when you get to set the hook on two fish at once like that. And I, I do thank my buddy for giving me a hand. You bet. But really what that emphasizes, 
And what this show is all about is the efficiency of this technique. Dragon Jigs allows you to put some uh, live bait in such a natural presentation through an area like we're fishing right here, and you're able to cover so much water in a short amount of time. And what it does is it just allows an angler to just maximize their catch rate. One of my favorite perks of this job is every once in a while I get to field test some pretty cool products. And uh, this morning was quite the shock for me. Uh, when Jason pulls down the hill, he's got a Skeeter boat behind him. And so far, I gotta tell you, um, you know, I've got an aluminum boat background, and this fiberglass boat has handled everything this river's thrown at it. Um, the way it handles the current and the way it tracks in the wind is just fantastic. And uh, I gotta be honest, Jason, I'm impressed. Uh, it's been a dream to fish out of. Um, hopefully we get another opportunity like this in the future. I, I hear they've got uh, some pretty fast bass boats. Yep, I've, I like heard, to, I've heard the same thing. I like to go fast. <laughs> Log on to IDOfishing.com, that's IDOfishing.com, and you'll be on your way to catching more and bigger fish. And you'll find fishing reports from all your favorite bodies of water with monster fish photos, a friendly, helpful forum, and streaming video of every in-depth outdoors episode available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. One of the things you'll notice today about all of the line we're using is that we're using high-vis monofilament. And the reason we use high-vis monofilament is that it's going to allow us to visualize what the jig is doing when it's underwater. And Part of that process begins with the cast itself, and the, probably the proper distance for a cast when you're going to be dragging jigs in this real shallow summertime water is about two times the length of the boat. What I generally do is give myself a nice cast, let out a little bit more line, then allow the line to come tight. Sometimes I'll hold it with my finger, but most often I'll just keep my finger on the blank of the rod itself. There's one. That's your fish, Jay. <laughs> That's what you've been looking for. Solid fish. Uh-oh. Oh, double header? Yep. Who's going to help who? <laughs> Actually, I think mine's a lot smaller. I'll, I'll force mine out. Take yours nice and slow. I can't move this fish. Okay. Yep. Definitely a little guy. Not to disrespect the little fellow, but I think we've got something bigger at the back of the boat. We're off that flooded timber, so you should be in good shape. All right. Solid fish. It doesn't feel cat-like, at least not yet. Oh, sweetie, show yourself. I dare say not cat-like. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Uh, folks, this is dialed in. <laughs> this is great. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, she's got caught in a tooth there. There we go. Woo! What a beautiful Mississippi River walleye, James. On a blue dragon jig. Yeah, right in the old snout there. It's time to let her go back and fight another day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dave Marquardt, and I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. At Skeeter Boat Center, we have one of the largest selections of Skeeter fishing boats in the upper Midwest. And you can take a test drive in almost any Skeeter model we have. Plus, we have Yamaha 5-star service. Our staff offers the personalized service you deserve. Check us out online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. That's a big band in the rod right there. All that fish is doing is just heading for the middle of the channel. You know, fishing these light jigs is just, I mean, it's, there's so much feedback. The St. Croix rod is real sensitive, the tip is real light, and you feel like this tiny little thunk on the end of the rod. You set the hook and the rod doesn't move anywhere. It's huge walleyes down there, they just put the brakes on. Just me and the fish and a 16th ounce jig. <laughs> you know what? If this is a walleye, this is the biggest one yet. All right. But I'm going to declare it a catfish just to ensure that it is a wall. Catfish, catfish, catfish. 
Come on, you strong girl. Come into the light. Come on. Ugh. Big twitch there. We're getting close. You should be seeing her here real quick. I'm ready. Big walleye. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it looks good again. <laughs> this is all of a 28, 29 inch fish. I mean, she's just a absolute horse. Oh, yeah. Summer walleye gold there. There's a blue jig in that big mouth somewhere. Way down in there. That's a great thing about the dragon jig. I've got a lot, been a lot of field testing done to make sure that you still get really good hooking percentages with that jig. You can put it in some nasty stuff and come out with fish just like that. Down she goes. Once you learn the technique, you have so many days, six, eight, ten big walleyes like this. And there's just nothing more fun than catching a big walleye on a little tiny little jig. Yep, she's just about ready. There we go. Yes, with gusto. Boom, 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 boom. Can we go one more pass? One more pass, please, <laughs> yes. Now, the two kinds of baits we use at this time of the year are leeches and crawlers. And um, the way we hook the baits is fairly important to make sure that they're presented in, in the most natural way possible. This is a medium sized leech, certainly not the kind of jumbo leeches that you might use for uh, slip bobber fishing or live bait rigging. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just hook it once through the sucker and allow it to trail just very naturally behind, uh, behind, the, behind the dragon jig here in the water. And the key for night crawlers is to make sure that they are hanging off the back of the bait as straight as possible so that they don't kink up, they don't twist and turn in the water or anything like that. And now we've got both a leech and a crawler ready to go back and chase some more walleyes. Oh, there's a fish. Got it. Oh, he feels good. If this is a walleye, she's a big fish. I'm going back up after it. Could be a catfish, there. It seems like every time we think we've got a big fish on, we say it's a walleye. Before we see it, it turns into a catfish. So we've been kind of uh, throwing reverse psychology at them. They're all catfish until proven otherwise. Oh, big gosh. walleye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were just putting the spank on these things. James, great fish, buddy. <sighs> That's a uh, 27. Yeah, this is the upper 20 inch fish for sure. Put that blue jig right in the corner of her mouth. Now let me tell you what, that walleye right there represents the finish of a great day of walleye fishing out here on the Mississippi River, dragging these small jigs. We're gonna get her back in the water. All right, sweetheart. There she goes. Today's been a fantastic outing. I hope you've learned a lot. Certainly, uh, this dragging jig presentation deserves a little bit of time in your boat. Give it a shot, and I guarantee you it's going to put more fish in your boat, and you're going to have a great time doing it. From Jason and I, this has been In Depth Outdoors. We'll see you next week.